wonderful live stream. I, of course, am your host, Oath Alliance, and today we're back on Planetary Annihilation version 5.50256. A lot of nice advances in this game, including an actual place to tell me which ways north and, and south, and building snapping. So that should be an interesting run here. And today I'm going to try to get up for a multiplayer match where I'm actually teamed up with someone else. Uh, Team Army, 6 LV. Totally joined the game. And okay. I'll join this guy. All right, so this actually allows you to control of your allies' stuff. So hopefully there won't be any trolls in this game. That would not be the best thing for me. And those of you who are maybe checking me out lady, la later, on my YouTube, I've actually started a new series for myself called 30 Minutes in Game. It actually started off by someone actually sending me their game that they wanted me to play. So that's going to be an interesting series. So if you happen to be a developer and want to send me your game, go ahead and send it. I'll play it for 30 minutes. Good, bad, ugly, whatever. And we can do it. But looks like we're hopefully going to start here in a moment people are just choosing their team colors I get be purple so it's going to be an interesting game um, we're all hoping well I hope and everyone else hopefully is hoping that not going to be running into any griefers that apparently is one of the big problems people sending their commanders off into the nether reasons and like sending them to die uh, apparently one person will be playing alone looks like but that's okay because playing alone isn't the worst thing well <laughs> except when you're against three other teams of two it might be unless he gets two commanders in which case he might have an advantage to send one off and like kill him but uh, we'll find out here in a moment. Anyways, Independence Day is coming up for those of you in the United States. Yep, July 4th. Which is, actually the interesting thing is, why do Americans, us who celebrate it, call it July 4th instead of Independence Day? We have Veterans Day, we have all these other days, but... July 4th is one of the only days that we actually call by its name, as far as I can tell. An interesting thing there. But I'm going to remember as actually being Independence Day, which is also one of the best movies ever. Will Smith rocks. He apparently will not be showing up in Independence Day 2. A sad story. For those of you who are watching from New York, I am drinking a 24-ounce can of Mountain Dew in honor of one day hopefully there being freedom for you guys to drink larger soda amounts or at least not having to buy multiples but yes 24 ounces of Mountain Dew in a can with some person Danny Davis's signature printed on it not sure if it has a lot of meaning but I'm going to be enjoying that throughout this entire thing. I'm just going to be playing one game. Who knows how long this will last. This could last an hour. This could last, you know, 30 minutes. This could last 10 minutes, depending on how dangerous we all are. All right, so. Let's see here. 
building snap feature is actually looking very nice. Basic economy going. And I'm going to then build a uh, land factory. Hopefully there will be... <laughs> kind of annoying part is that we can't tell whose is who. Now they did add a normal cannon onto the Delta Commander. So, hopefully that will... add some interesting things in case enemies try to get a little bit too close. Now I'm hoping that the enemies don't come into this area for quite some time so that we have the ability to build up some strong units and that's what I'm going to be pushing for. Lots of factories and hopefully he will get the idea and start building, yep, more generators. Now metal points are active so they, but they haven't actually been totally finished so you can still gain resources pretty much anywhere. It's going to be a little bit like Supreme Commander where you gather resources on special spots so that people can't just spam unlimited metal like we currently are doing. Oh yeah. Alright, let's see about getting him to build advanced factory. I'm going to add one, darn it, uh, at least another power generator. help out that guy so team match is going so well so far no one's blown themselves up as far as we can see one person is sadly playing alone poor guy uh, but pretty much at this moment pretty simple stuff going on not a lot of action voting snapping is actually really nice to be honest I just really want to get that advanced factory built. And okay. So I'm going to have my commander go over yonder this way. And let's see, I'm going to build a bot factory. Right. Come on. Oh, I guess I'll just have to build it like that. Basic radar going in. Draining 300 power now, nice. So apparently radars do drain power. So not sure what he's having our guys do. A little bit of work setting up here. Advanced bot factory. Well, bot factory is being finished, being built. Some bots, and then build some. Oh, a ton of levelers. We figured out that those little guys can be the death of anyone. Truly and honestly. All right, these guys. Not sure why it's driving off backwards. But there we go. All right, starting to get a little bit of lag going on. Going to want some more energy buildings. Snapping is a nice feature, but only when it's really correctly done. And some more extractors going up.
That's going to be way better than StarCraft. Being someone who has played the original and actually owns StarCraft 2. Wings of Liberty, I can say I am enjoying this way more. Supreme Commander is one of my favorite, and actually one of the first RTSs I've really enjoyed playing was Total Annihilation. I didn't get to play it very much, but it was definitely in... What the heck? Oh, great. So, now we know that there's an enemy over here. Alright, that's it. So we've got an enemy attacking so far. All right, well, we'll just have to take him on. Come on, keep going. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Here we go. And we have found the enemy stronghold. Well, one of the enemy strongholds. Which is okay. Alright, so. Start off with that. And I'm assuming that. Someone moving. Great hurry. Alright, well, not enjoying the fact that I have met at one of my enemies. Let's have him help. Alright, so he's sending those troops back. The commander's truly being my only troops. Around. This is almost finished here. Wish I had a health amount, but just about done. And that will definitely help increase the amount of power I've got. Hopefully. That's enough. Aw, oh, look, they're sharing matter! <laughs> Streams. It's so sweet. I could cry. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Mm. Whatever. Anyways, I'm going to take one of these guys. That should be the last one then. I'm actually going to build an advanced radar. Going to need it. Oh, great. A wall. So apparently, someone wants to build a wall. All right, well, someone is asking my opinion on the game. So far, this game is actually shaping up to be a lot better than I th 